What Bo wants to find out is something which might seem rather bizarre, whether colours can change our sense of time. In order to do this, he has set up three colour pods. One white, one red, and one blue. The white pod is used as a control to compare to the red and the blue. OK, are you ready? OK, so what we're going to do is we want to get a sense of how long you think a minute lasts. Each of the 150 people taking part today are asked to stand in a pod bathed in colour and give a sign when they think a minute has passed. So I'm going to turn you around. I want you to face the wall. And I want you to turn back around as soon as you think a minute's gone past. So here, we're looking to see if someone is bathed in red, it might increase their sense of anxiety. And whenever we're in a sense of anxiety, we perform less well on pretty much anything. And in contrast to blue, where people get a sense of calmness, we'll find out if that's true. Because if it's true, people will be better able to judge time. In fact, they might even think a minute lasts two minutes. Who knows? 150 people, young and old, men and women, all asked to estimate how long a minute took under different lights. After analysis, the ColourPod experiment showed some rather interesting results. So this result for me personally was a bit of a was a bit of a surprise. In fact, I had a bet on it, uh, and I have lost because I thought red would do the exact opposite. I thought if you're in a state of arousal, time would go very quickly, but in fact, it does it just the opposite. It turns out that colour can speed up time, but it's not the colour red that does it. If they're in a blue pod, a minute lasts 11 seconds shorter than if they're in a red pod. Now, 11 seconds is in a phenomenally long time. And yet, all they were doing is surrounded by blueness, and their perception of time sped up. So colour does significantly affect your perception of the passage of time. One possibility is that red is altering our state of arousal. It's making us highly aware of our environment. So that would be very advantageous in a fight-or-flight response where you want to be really noticing the things that are happening around you. In a sense, you want time to slow down. So maybe that's one possibility for why if you embed yourself in red, time actually slows down in your mind. <laughs> 